Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Hannah. I haven't recorded in a while, so I feel kind of weird and I'm not really sure what to say right now. Um, but if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the bell while you're at it, and let's just get straight into this video. So I'm just going to actually do my everyday makeup. I'm really simple everyday makeup actually. And today I was sent um, a three-step oil-based routine from Goody Co. This is what some of their bottles look like. So I've actually been using these um, recently to like kind of prime my face and help me get that really smooth finished look when I'm not wearing that much makeup. So I just want to read a little bit about these products and just let you guys know what they are for. Um, so the website says we created these products especially for makeup lovers to ensure that your skin is looked after and nourished from all the harsh chemicals in makeup and cleansers. Our products are non-toxic, vegan, and cruelty free which is a huge thing. And all our products have native Australian essential oils that are only found in Australia. All our products promote collagen, 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 regeneration, which means it helps your skin renew and protect it at the same time. So to start off with this makeup look, I'm actually going to be taking this um, Dream Serum as kind of like my primer. This one um, has directions on it. It says, for best results, pat two drops on the cleanse, damp skin in the morning and evening. So when I woke up, I actually did this right away. But I'm just going to show you guys how I did it. It looks like this. So like it said, I'm just going to do two tiny drops. Like that. And kind of just pat it in everywhere. I really love the smell of this stuff. It makes your face feel so hydrated after. Um, I've been tanning recently because Brian and I booked a trip to Colorado and I don't want to be too pale out there to where I just get fried by the sun. And this really helps my skin feel rejuvenated and everything and not so dry after I tan. I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit, probably like one to two minutes, and I'll get right back to you guys. So pretty much for like my everyday makeup, I like to just use concealer and kind of do my brows. So for the concealer I'm using today, it's just going to be the Tarte Shape Tape like usual. Um, I'm not quite tan yet, so um, I'm just using the shade Light, and I'm just covering up my circles. I don't really mind like this redness here. I guess I do because I just covered it up. But I do like to leave my nose because I think my nose has cute little freckles on it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be taking a blending brush. Any one works. I haven't used this one in a while, so. This helps my makeup go on so smoothly and just blend in very, very nicely. So after I pretty much have like my um, circles concealed, I'm just going to be setting my face. I'm not going to go any, I'm not going to do any more like liquid, anything like concealer or foundation. So recently to set my face, I've been using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and just this little banana color right here. I feel like that's a good fit for my face. I'm just going to be taking a brush and just patting that in. I don't like to swipe because I feel like that moves around the foundation a little bit. And even though I didn't put anything on my forehead, I do want to just make sure, like, it's pretty much all matte everywhere. And then to warm up my face a little bit, I'm just going to be going in with this contouring color. Just on a Real Techniques blush brush. Really lightly. And this is also why I don't put um, foundation on my forehead, because I feel like it looks more natural if there's, like, freckles peeking through the powder. And then I'm just going to warm up my cheeks with that. See the difference? So this side makes my face look a lot more... Wow. I just look a lot better. <laughs> I 
lately I've kind of been liking to put a little bit of contour, that color on my nose. Just to give it more of like a warm kind of sun kiss feeling. And I just like pretty much sloppily, is that a word, sloppily do that? <laughs> and that's pretty much my makeup, my everyday makeup, but I am going to just fill in my eyebrows a little bit. And I'm going to use my Elizabeth Art, yeah, Elizabeth Arden eyebrow kit. So lately I've been just kind of brushing them out and up. And then just filling in the sparse areas, which is pretty much just my tail. So pretty much just like that, super light. And then I brush through it a little bit just to make sure that the product is even. And then my new favorite setting gel is this Ulta Beauty Brow Shaping Gel. It works so good and your brows will not move at all throughout the day. And I just brush the top or the front of it upwards and then I slowly kind of curve it back. And that's what my brow ends up looking like if it'll focus. And then I'm just going to do the other brow off camera. So I just wanted to make sure and touch base with you guys so that you knew exactly what I got from this company called Goody Co. And I'll also have everything linked down below. Um, so I got the Supercharged Trio. It comes with a Dream Serum Mint and also um, a bright one so the dream serum you use before your makeup which i just did um, the mint is what we're going to use to take off my makeup and it helps like tighten your pores and cleanse everything and then the bright one brightens up your face and again tightens your pores make sure everything is nice and sturdy sturdy hello uh, but like i said to take off my makeup today this is actually like my normal my basic night routine kind of. This is what I like to use and I also like to use just some makeup wipes, you know, if I'm really lazy. But I'm just going to be putting... I love that. <sighs> I'm going to actually put my hair back first. And I also do use a damp cloth for this part so I like to rub in the oils first and then I'm just going to use a cloth to wipe it all off. But I'm just going to put a little bit so I don't, I like, I don't squeeze it at all actually. I just kind of let it fall out, you know. And so it smells like mint, so it's really, oh, look at that. Just takes the makeup right off, you guys. Which is insane. And it makes your skin feel so good. I cannot get over this stuff. I do have very dry skin in the winter, so oils are such a good thing for me. And then I'm just going to take this damp, warm cloth and slowly and gently, make sure to gently wipe everything away. And for those of you who have tried to take your makeup off with just a regular cloth, you will know that it does not work. And you really have to, like, be mean to your face. <laughs> so before I go on, I just wanted to give you guys a little FAQ about the mint one, which I just used to cleanse my face. It's the perfect cleanser. This is on their website, by the way. It's the perfect cleanser to unclog pores and balance the skin's natural oil levels. Whilst and fully removing your makeup, which it definitely did. You guys can tell that there is nothing on my face anymore. Use its high potency Kunzia oil native to Australia, which is both antibacterial and has a unique molecular structure enabling it to work at a cellular level to heal and repair, which is amazing for me because my skin is burnt right now. So this last one I'm going to be using is the Bright Serum, and this is going to just help my face. I'm actually going to read you guys 
Um, our bright treatment oil combines powerful toning essential essential oils and native Australian Fragonia extract to instantly firm, tone, and plump the skin surface, especially made for oily slash, slash combination skin, which I have combination skin. This oil is perfect to manage breakouts and blemishes, bringing out the best in your skin every day. I'm just going like this. These smell so good. If you guys, looks like I'm crying. <laughs> if you guys have ever had essential oils, it has that minty like um, smell to it, but it's not as strong, which I feel like the essential oils, like some of them are just super strong and in your face. And I feel like you don't want something that is extremely fragrance, fragrancy, extremely potent on your face, just because it can be a little overwhelming. I'm gonna give you like a close up of what my skin looks like and I feel so refreshed and my skin is just so smooth and it, oh I just cannot get over it. It just feels so great you guys. I can't get over it. <laughs> that is it for kind of like my skin routine and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check my description box for all the links of everything I mentioned besides the makeup. So pretty much just like the little trio. Um, but let me know if you guys try it out in the comments. I would love to know what your experience is with it. And yeah, thanks again to Goody Co. for sending me some of their products. I absolutely enjoyed them. I hope you guys know that I wouldn't tell you guys something that I don't 100% approve of. And these oils are honestly so amazing. I've never tried oils, actually. So they were such a good first, um, you know, like what I'm saying, like a first try. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell while you're at it so you get notified as to when I post next. I have a lot more reviews coming, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sport. Shout it bad, pop like a court, pop it.